we, we breed for 12 weeks, 100% um, AI, there's no stock bulls on the farm. Fertility has been good over the years. We had an issue with empty rates last year because of some management related issues. Non-return routes this year have returned to where they should be normally, so I'm expecting that, that problem will be solved. I suppose the, the, the change has we've taken advantage of the maturity of the herd by driving output and the genetic improvement of the herd too is driving milk price itself. Yeah, we've expanded the heifer rearing side of the business and we're selling more heifers and that will change with the advent of sex semen as well. The business as such has been driven by an outstanding contract rearer at the moment. He's doing extraordinary work really as regards weight gain and fertility to the extent that we switched over to sex semen now this year and there has been no change in, in non-return rates pending scanning which we're very confident about. He's putting uh, great stock into me and he's taken the calves a month old. They're coming back here 10 days before calving and that's, that's a huge labour saving. And outside of that, I have a team of two or three really reliable contractors locally who are doing 90% of the machinery work. They're very, very important. I've been lucky to access good international students over the last 10 years for two months around calving. They take the pressure off and when the real pressure is on there in that first six weeks they're around calving very, very important to the business. Some family helped during the summer and there was plenty of family help this year with COVID. 